five, the last work together problem for chapter one. So one dash three, work together, page 22. We are in MindTap, as you should know by now. And if we open this and look at the directions, we see that there are lots of transactions up here. And it says for each transaction, determine the two accounts in the equation that are changed. Again, if it's increased or decreased, we put a plus sign in the column, a minus sign if it's decreased, and you can use both a plus and minus if necessary. And they literally don't have just the classifications this time. They have put the accounts that are our choices. So we have cash, AR, Harmon Company, supplies, prepaid insurance, AP, and Nathaniel Conrad, our owner's capital account. So here we go, and I will go through this pretty methodical. So we received cash from sales. So cash, received cash, means it went up and it is an asset. And from sales, when I see the word sales, I immediately think revenue, and I think that is a good thing. So I put a plus in capital. Sales is revenue. It's a good thing. It affects capital in a positive manner and makes my claim go up. Number two says I sold services. So sold services is the same thing as sales. Makes owner's equity classification, the account capital, go up. And I sold services not for cash this time, but on account. So when I sell, I receive. So it's accounts receivable that's affected. And it is going up because I had no receivable. Now that I've sold them something, they need to pay me more money. So I'm going to receive more in the future. The third one, I'm paying cash for cell phone bills. So paid cash tells me the asset cash is going down, which we've done around 7 billion times, it feels like, at this point. And it's for a cell phone bill, which is an expense, a cost of doing business, a phone bill. So that is capital. It is going down because that is a bad thing, having expenses. They're necessary, but not great. The fourth transaction says I received cash. Cash is an asset going up because I received it. And it was on account from Harmon. So I had a big receivable from Harmon, and now they're paying me, so I'm receiving cash, which means that the receivable is declining, going down, decreasing. And then the last transaction says the owner withdrew equity in the form of cash. So again, I see cash. And they took it out of the business, which means that asset cash went down. And then when I see that the owner withdrew equity, I know it's a withdrawal, which affects capital in a bad way because they're taking things out of the business. So their claim is going down because they actually did claim it and take it. So then just glancing back, I want to make sure my equal sign here, I have a plus equals a plus, a plus equals a plus, a minus equals a minus, a plus and a minus negates each other. So I have nothing. And then a minus and a minus. So I know that things are good. So I can save and continue and go on to the next part of this, which is the on your own if you want more practice before going on to uh, the application problem that will be graded. But again, you can see in these transactions, they're similar to what we just did. Sold services and sales tells me it's revenue. On account is accounts receivable. Withdrew equity is a withdrawal, so capital. Rent is an expense. And then cash, I think we're getting probably pretty good at that at this point. So do 
that and then move on to your application problems. And after that, when you're done with all of the application problems for the chapter, you will go on and do the mastery problem. We will take a quiz uh, in Canvas, a multiple choice quiz, as well as a quiz in uh, MindTap. And then we'll take a test after all of that. So practice makes perfect. Keep trying to get this alphabet down and get all these transactions. If you're having trouble, reach out. We're happy to help.